A Jacksonville pastor is among three men accused of sexually abusing children for more than 30 years. Here's video from earlier this afternoon when 78-year-old Paul Dial made his first appearance in court. Since then, we've learned Jerome Teschendorf and Vernon Williamson were also arrested. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignon joining us live from the Duval County Jail where Dial is locked up tonight. Eric? Yes, well, the allegations of abuse were so serious that a judge ordered the pastor to remain here locked up inside the Duval County Jail without bond. A woman who tipped us off about his arrest says that uh, her family has spoken to detectives uh, about uh, the pastor since they were members or previous members of the church. She says that there had been whispers of suspected abuse involving children for a very long time. Paul uh, Kyle. 78-year-old Paul Dial didn't say much as he stood in front of a judge on a felony sex charge that, if convicted, could land him in prison for the rest of his life. Yeah, Mr. Dial, I'd like to say out this issue warrant for your arrest. It's one count of capital sexual battery. Dial is the pastor here at the Assembly of the Body of Christ Church and School located on Old Kings Road. According to the woman who tipped us off about his arrest and asked not to be identified in this news report, there had been rumors within the congregation of child sexual abuse involving the pastor. The woman we spoke with says relatives who were contacted by police for information on the pastor were once members of the church who to this day still cringe when the topic comes up. You know, that's a touchy subject. We don't like to talk about it around family dinner, but um, I do know it wasn't uncommon in the church for the kids, many of the kids. The woman I spoke with says rumors of sexual abuse didn't just center on one victim, but multiple victims, which made her and her family feel so uneasy that they eventually left the church. How long did this go on? Um, well, I'm, almost, I'm 26 and my siblings are 30. So, uh, that long. 68-year-old Jerome Teschendorf and 85-year-old Vernon Williamson were also arrested in connection to the investigation. Both men were taken into custody in Oklahoma. The woman I spoke with is familiar with Williamson. I know he used to babysit um, the kids, um, my siblings as well. He always would like have the kids be like, oh, come sit on my lap and like just stuff like that. Court records show that back in 1985, Teschendorf was arrested and charged with forcible sexual assault on a mentally disabled person, but adjudication was withheld after he completed a diversion program. Police say all three men are connected to multiple sexual assault victims. The woman I spoke with says her relatives are relieved rumors have now turned into arrest. Just happy that, you know, it's finally coming to light, I guess, but a lot of them are just angry at the situation. A lot of them... Um, you know, they've been hurt by that church. Now, the investigation is far from over, and police say there could be more arrests in this case. Reporting live from outside the Duval County Jail, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, the local station. Eric, we have an idea about how long the reported victims say this has been going on, but how long has the case been under investigation? Well, while I don't have an exact time frame, I do know that former JSO public a public information officer who was also a uh, sex crimes investigator, I'm talking about Melissa Bujeda, uh, she was one of the officers that was investigating this case. And you may recall, she left JSO back in November of last year. So it is safe to say that this was and still is a very lengthy investigation. All right, Eric Avignet reporting live for us tonight. Eric, thanks.